Even in a week riddled by rainstorms, Berkeley did not stop moving. And we're here to keep you updated on everything Berkeley. We'll tell you about a recent ASUC Senate bill, a City Council candidates forum, and students speaking out against police brutality. I'm Catherine Ma. And I'm Jake Lafferman. The Berkeley Beat starts now. The ASUC recently passed a Senate bill promoting increased student involvement as part of Berkeley's Operational Excellence Initiative. Operational Excellence is a plan to cut administrative costs by $75 million. The new bill is designating 14 students to represent student interests in the face of changing policies here at Berkeley. On Thursday, the ASUC held a forum where Berkeley City Council candidates could discuss their ideas and platforms before the November 2nd election. Attendees included 10 candidates from Districts 1, 4, 7, and 8, and was moderated by Professor Henry Brady, Dean of the Goldman School of Public Policy. Also last Thursday, UCPD arrested Gregorio Hernandez on suspicion of two separate incidents of disguising himself as a female and photographing women in the RSF locker room. He has been charged on two counts of disorderly conduct, though neither charge mentions the photographing itself. This is similar to an incident which occurred at the Channing Bowdish Apartments last week, where a man disguised himself as a survey taker. This man offered massages to female residents, asked them to lift up their shirts, and would proceed to unstrap their bras. This case is still open, and any tips or information should be forwarded to the UCPD. In the wake of a grave event where BART police shot and killed civilian Oscar Grant, Berkeley students and community members are speaking out against police brutality. CalCV's Rena Flores has more on this. What can you tell us, Rena? Thanks, Catherine. I'm here at the corner of Bancroft Way and Telegraph Avenue, one of the entrances to the UC Berkeley campus, where the Revolution Club of the Bay Area has come to have their voices heard on the eve of the National Day of Protest to stop police brutality. Everybody that don't want to follow the system, don't want to follow the bullshit, don't want to follow the lies, come on out here. The rally was an attempt to garner support for the October 22nd protest against police brutality scheduled to occur at the Fruitvale BART station where the now infamous Oscar Grant shooting took place, the protest attempted to bring awareness to the Bay Area's prevalent issue. That those days need to be over and they can be and tomorrow is the day when we're sending the message that we will not accept this anymore in silence, you know? To some of those demonstrating here today, it was intensely personal. Yeah, so, I mean, I just, we just really want support, you know, like our whole family, we still grieve over this every day. Justina Wani says that one of her brothers is now dead because of the actions of the Oakland Police Department. Her brother, Andrew Maupin, a 20-year-old unarmed man, was fatally shot by Oakland police officer Hector Jimenez in 2007. To personal victims like Justina, these events are simply unacceptable. I'm trying to be an attorney so I can fight for this, you know. Ten years later, I'll still be standing in the same spot, still fighting for it, till we get justice for Hector Jimenez. It's like, you know, the officers are just a gang member also that have badges, you know. Justina helped with the demonstration that included a poster signing on Upper Sprout Plaza, and a large visual display with pictures of police brutality victims was prominently displayed at the Telegraph Avenue entrance to campus. Yet despite these demonstrations, UC Berkeley students are skeptical of the support it's expected to gain for the cause. Tell me sorry, I can't take that. I'm not going to be there. I have to study. It's important to bring that to Berkeley because it's just 10 miles away. This is happening. Now the Revolution Club plans to continue their demonstrations throughout the end of this month in what they've called Revolution Week. For Cal TV, I'm Rena Flores. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Rena. Something to look out for this coming week, the Berkeley Art Museum is hosting a Halloween party and hauntology exhibit. The exhibit features various hauntological musical offerings, video slides, and more. And Theater for Charity will be performing a ghost procession. Costumes are encouraged. Speaking of costumes... <laughs> some of us are still bogged down in midterms, but don't forget it's Halloween week. So go out, have fun, but be safe. Watch out for ghosts, as well as new episodes of CalTV throughout the week. And join us next Monday for another episode of The Berkeley Beat. Thanks for watching. Watch out for ghosts and new episodes of CalTV throughout <laughs> the week.